We are in a game of turf, no. and we are doing a top five episode. But this episode is going to be a top ten episode, a top five opinion, top five opinions, aka top ten opinions. So let's start off with the scientist. Since uh -huh. I'm playing a scientist, I shall go first. My my top, starting at number five, it is Doctor Toxic. I am using him right now. I like him because of his toxic damage, and he's just a good scientist player. Good character for starting off if you have him. Yeah, so what is your fifth place scientist going to be? <clears throat> my fifth place scientist? Yes. I would say my fifth place scientist has to be probably probably normal scientist. The first thing that gets him up there is this damage, close range. Well, his damage can do 70 damage, close range, and I've never gotten the damage upgrade for him. But, <clears throat> what's also, what's good is, is that he's a pretty good starting character for zombies. <clears throat> and the only thing about, bad about his is his ammo and his rate of fire. So, pass it on to you. Alright, and the number four spot goes to the physicist. I don't use him that much, but he is an actual really good person. A really good scientist character. He His damage is like okay, but his electric damage for some reason, it just gets me. It just makes me want to put him on the number four spot. What is your number four spot? My number four spot is going to be a chemist. Now, chemist used to be like the be like the powerhouse scientist in PvD1. It's like, it's like close to with close like with paleontologist basically chemist is like almost as good as he was as in pvc1 i just don't i just don't get why he was his damage of 35 it's either that or he did do 40 damage in the original or i just i'm really dumb and i actually not and i'm actually not a pvc fan all right the best part about but like the bad thing is he's close range. Yeah. All right. Coming in for my number three spot is going to be the paleontologist. I like fire characters, and this is a really good character because I'm pretty sure he's a rare, if I'm correct. Oh, the paleontologist. Yes, the paleontologist. Yes, he's rare. Okay, so the paleontologist. I like that he's a fire character, and he does really good amount of damage. I have personally been leveling him up as much as I could and he is a, just a good player. Now what is your number <coughs> three spot going to be? Number three! Honestly, I gotta say computer scientist. Yes, he's the legendary. But uh, I just... But just like... His computer mode song is from the end Meeks tape. Or Meeks tape. Mix tape. Um, the nerd. The nerd zombie, or the arc not the nerd, the arcade, the arcade zombie, and that was a pretty good theme. But like, I I haven't I've never played as computer science myself, but I would really think that his damage normally wouldn't be as good as say, like probably like 45 damage maybe. But I've heard this is probably not true, but I've heard that somebody did a thousand freaking damage to somebody. But I'm really sure that's not true. All right, coming in from my number two spot is the astronaut. The amount of damage this guy can do and how fast his fire rate is, is insane. That's why I am giving him the number two spot. Because he is an all-out just OP scientist character, and I'm pretty sure a lot of players can agree with me saying that he is. Now, what will be your number two spot? My number two spot. <clears throat> um, honestly, I would have. I would also go with scientist, or not scientist. Um, astronaut because he, like the same like same thing as yours. Damage and fire and fire rate. The best like the best part about him though is not only the fire rate and damage, but the amount of ammo he has. I would expect him to have like a ten. No, make it better. Yeah. On so to you. 
coming in two? for my number one spot for my scientist is drum roll please zoologist he is, is exactly like the chemist but his damage is actually a lot more if you think about it how much i'm pretty sure it can go up to 45 and just imagine 45 45 45 every shot and plus his fire rate is pretty good and i like that he's a close range character so it puts your skill to the test of how good you actually are so that's <coughs> why he is in my number one spot for my favorite scientist back to you now before i do it before i say number one i would like to have some at least one at least two or three honorable mentions dr toxic he is all right for a toxic character damage is good but the fact that he's a scientist and really close range yeah zoologist I like chemist but i always used to prefer chemist just because of the classic and archaeologist there's like nothing good about him number one now i'm not trying to be biased but honestly, number one has to go to paleontologist. He used to be the best. Yeah, I think he used to be like the best scientist in PVZ Garden Warfare 1. One of the reasons that he's actually like one of the only snipers um, a scientist. Second thing is his fire damage. And the third thing is, well, I used to play as him a lot and he used to be like, and I always wanted to be a paleontologist. Alrighty, now it is time for the super brains, and we will. Can be I doing... go first? Yes, <sighs> you will go first. But before we start, we will be doing another top five episode later tonight. So, you can start off. <clears throat> Number five, electro brains. Now, the reason why I give electro brains this spot is that if you've had Garden Warfare one, say since day one, not the beta. You probably know how good Electro Brains is. Isn't that true? Yeah. All right. But now, but now to this day, he's he's all right. Coming in his for electro, my his electric damage is okay. Coming in for my number five spot, it is going to be Electro Brains. Huh. As game Same reason? says. Same reason. If you are a true OG. You know, but yeah. So just take it away. What is your gonna <clears throat> be number four? Gonna, number four. Number four. I'm gonna say super braids. Now you might be asking, how is super braids higher than electro braids? Hear me out. His damage is great. Fifth, first punch fifteen. Second punch twenty five. Final punch no, not thirty five. Forty five damage, and his beam damage is. All right, and that's really what, that's really all I gotta say. Coming in for His my is good. number four spot, it is going to be. Sorry, it is going to be Cosmic Brains. I don't really like charge up characters, and this is just my opinion. If you really like Cosmic Brains, I'm sorry, but the only reason I do not like him is because I do not like charge characters, even though. He can do that punch. He can do the charge punch and he can't be revived. It's I like do, slow. I do give him number four spot because he is decent. So, back to you. Okay. <clears throat> number three, I'm gonna say electro braid. Uh, not electro braid. Um breakfast braids. <laughs> First off, when I saw when I first saw Breakfast Brains in the zoo in the Zanny's Trouble in Zalbopolis, I really wasn't big fan of his punching and 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 his like beam. Yeah, it, like his beam was made out of freaking waffles. But like I wasn't a big fan of it making go get it faster and faster. But and then I realized his punch damage: four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and it can punch for basically like ten. Not even 10 seconds, like 20 seconds until it burns out. His beam damage makes it stop him from getting higher on the list. Back on to you. All right. Third place for me, I'm guessing? <coughs> yes. 
So coming in at third place for me is gonna have to be, wait, did you just do third place? Yes, I did third place. Okay, sorry. Third place for you. Third place for me, I'm just gonna give it, because I'm gonna give it to Super Brains, normal Super Brains. The reason why I'm gonna give it to normal Super Brains, as Gaming said, his damage is OP, He his beam's okay, exactly as he says. But the reason why I put him up higher is because I feel like he down. I feel like gaming downgraded him, made him feel a little bit weaker than he already is. So I put him up there because he is <coughs> actually two. a good oh. player. Back to you, John. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Number two, I'm gonna have to say. Well, there's not really much choices. I'm gonna have to say. I'm gonna honestly have to say. Cosmic Brains. Now, I really do like him. He's honestly one of my favorite Super Brains. I just really don't like how he's a charge up, but his, my god, features. First up, he's, he, he it creates a black hole in his hands. And if you kill somebody with that, they will be revivable. But the only thing that, like, I really don't like about him is that, A, his charge-up kind of takes a little while, but that's kind of, mainly kind of, like, all charge-up characters. And his, I used to think that he could charge up his beam, and then I realized he couldn't. So, that really keeps him for number one. <clears throat> Wait, that was your number one? No, number two. I mean... So, my number two is going to be breakfast brains the reason why i say breakfast brains is because that fast rate of this is just wait what the frick is that a plane just flew through my body okay, yeah yeah mind. i know i know I, okay never mind as i was saying i give him second place i mean second place yeah second place because he is op gaming i i it's just my opinion but i do think he's an op character in <clears throat> like he needs to be a little bit nerfed because of what he can do that fast fire rate just demolishes the waffle one demolishes and that's why i'm gonna give him the number two spot for being op back to you <clears throat> now you probably know the i will mention party brings he's not the best party character but he's not the worst he's meh but, you probably already know what number one is, and I have this character, actually. Toxic Brains. Now, what? A legendary character number one? How cliche! No, you just- What? Wait, wait, you're weird. Because you already said Toxic Brains for number two. No, I said Cosmic. You said Cosmic for number five. No? Hmm. Okay. okay, toxic toxic brains. His punching is is pretty good. So that's the only way to keep his meter up. His beam, no. But I guess if you want to use your beam, you can. So the only thing that I really don't like about him is that his punching is pretty slow. His meter takes up a lot, and his beam should probably um count for a little bit. But it's toxic damage though, and his damage and toxic go low. Oh my God. Back to you. Alright. Time for some honorable mentions. And there's only <sighs> one. So. Honorable mentions go to... Nobody. <laughs> I'm not gonna add any honorable <laughs> mentions. Not even party brains? And taking in for the number one spot is... Drum roll please. Party brains. The reason is that I seriously? It... Yeah, I'm serious. <gasps> not even including Swans. Oh my god. The reason why I give it to him is because I like party characters. I think they look cool. And I think his damage is better than freaking most of them. I like his party time and improves his attacks. I give him the number one spot. So. I, I would disagree. I would disagree. Because he's supposed to be just normal Super Brains with the occasional party mode that does more damage. But like, what do you mean he does new? What do you mean he does more damage than some, most of them? He does like his max damage is like like his final punch without party mode is like twenty something. 
Uh, last time I checked, it was 45, but okie dokie. Okay, well, I guess... Can we do another character class? Okay, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, but... We are making a video right after this one. It's gonna be another two character classes. So... And I get to pick this one. And he gets to pick, so it cannot... Be... For the zombies. It's gonna be for the plants, okay? Got it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye. And always wear your seatbelt.